Frame family, welcome back to another video. I feel like there is so much circulating these days in the PC hardware world. And like clockwork, we already have more recent leaks and rumors today that are going to focus on the RTX 3080 just days before its September 1st announcement. As always, leaks and rumors are just that, unconfirmed information. So take all of this with a grain of salt, but being this close to launch, I am personally leaning more towards the side of believability. With that disclaimer out of the way, let's dive in. Now rumors are saying that during the NVIDIA event this coming Tuesday, that we are going to see three of NVIDIA's next-gen Ampere GPUs, the RTX 3090, 3080, and of course the 3070. In terms of horsepower, the RTX 3080 is obviously going to be a beast, but specifics are looking very sweet, with a 1710 MHz boost core clock speed, 4352 CUDA cores, 10GB of GDDR6X VRAM with a 19 gigabit per second memory clock on a 320-bit memory bus providing 760 gigabytes a second of total memory bandwidth. Rumors are also pointing towards a later launch of the RTX 3080 that has some 20 gigabytes of VRAM, but it's unclear if that may be a TI or Super model, or if it's just a general memory variant. To back up these specs, we are looking at second generation ray tracing cores along with a traversal co-processor that will be dedicated to ray tracing that is set to provide as low as two and as high as four times the ray tracing capabilities as Turing. Nvidia will also be updating the Tensor cores to its third generation, which allows for some extra tricks up Nvidia's sleeve with Ampere to give a boost in performance with a process called Tensor Memory Compression, using the Tensor cores to compress and decompress assets that are stored in VRAM. This process is said to reduce overall RAM usage by between 20 to 40%, thus granting more performance especially at higher resolutions and texture settings. With all this juice, the question still stands. Can it run Flight Simulator 2020? Also, rumors about a 12-pin PCIe connector have been circulating for a while now, and it looks like we have leaked pictures to back up that this indeed might be true. But that is supposed to only apply to the Founders editions of the GTX 3080 and not the Custom editions, which will instead use two 8-pin connectors. For all this performance, you are looking at a TDP of about 320 watts for this configuration. Now, if you're super excited to get your hands on this card, I have some good news. Rumors are saying that we should see the RTX 3090 and the RTX 3080 hit store shelves no later than mid-September. So it won't be long before we have these cards in our hands and are able to feel the power firsthand. But how much is a card that is this powerful and stacked with this many enhancements going to run your everyday performance lever? Well, for a while, the word on the street was over 700 US dollars at launch, but recent rumors are pointing more towards the RTX 3080 costing at least 800 US dollars at launch. For comparison, the RTX 2080 Ti has an MSRP of $1,000, but typically sells for hundreds of dollars more than that and is rumored to be about 25% slower than the RTX 3080. This gives enthusiasts the ability to beat a previous gen flagship GPU for at least $200 less, while also getting a decent boost in performance on top of it. With all these leaks likely to be what we see revealed in just a few days, I'm curious how many people are willing to still spend $800 for this card and the performance it offers. Will you be picking one up, or will you be targeting the RTX 3070 and below? Spam your answers in my comments and give me your thoughts. Anyways guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, it would mean a lot to me if you dropped a like to help YouTube push it along to others. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing for more tech talk and benchmark content. As always fam, it's been a pleasure. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep on gaming.